This song might be copyrighted, so YouTube, this song is copyrighted. I was at an event and they were playing music. Welcome back to the Buckeye State Wells. It will be September 9th, 2023, and I will be at the CSX's Wallbridge event at the CSX Wallbridge Yard. And they would have everything there, but our first mission would actually be getting on to the train to ride really because well they got a train set they can walk we can ride to get a tour through the yard and I got <laughs> permission to post these on YouTube and stuff there's us me and my buddy Sam was getting on to the train just us yeah. and my dad denied and I'm surprised he didn't so yeah. And honestly, I've never been up close to a locomotive before. Maybe just by doing pictures and stuff, but that's Engine. really it. Engine. There is a locomotive that is it's a GE 314. C40. That's in Y and 3C. Man, so but the locomotive that we were oh, by wow. is 3459. Oh, it still has that oh, boss oh. car logo. So, it's nothing too fancy new, but it was basically been shined up, like, it was like, dude, brand, like, it was shiny. Yeah, please. However, we got into the train, and then we thought, oh my gosh, this is gorgeous in here. They had everything ready for... I don't the, know. This event today. I was not planning on like being in this event today until I decided to head over to Wallbridge to see what's going on. And my buddy Sam called me and said, You need to get over here. There's a lot of things you could do around this event. So we decided to go here. Everything was free. There goes us departing the yard. So perfect. Oh, man. oh, there they go. It is. Oh, man. Oh, man. Well, maybe that wasn't it. Damn it. Oh, man. We just.
have a bad day. By Braille, I think. Uh, oh, did it? The office car special. Really? Yeah, they have. You probably know what that is, right? Well, it's probably this. Yeah. It's probably this car. Probably. Hmm? They're looking good. It makes it's not going to be so central. They make us use defense. <laughs> It'll be better next year. Right. 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 With a year of experience, I don't think they have half of them graduate. Oh. We're now making our turns back to the yard, and taking this ride was very, very cool. There's some w things that you couldn't see on Lucky Road. Lucky Road that is the road that parallels near the Walbridge Yard. I've been on that road several times. The last time I actually was on that road was probably back in like August 14th of 2023 this year. It was during the summer. I was catching uh, the newest heritage unit from CSX. It was CSX 1976, the Conroyal Heritage Unit. <laughs> and at that time, I was going through that road. And today, we went through that road a little bit. But, this was packed and packed of cars that was just at an event. Like, holy crap. We barely even got a parking space. Until we saw some parking, like, on the other side of us. There was this little parking where the crossing is we parked there and then that's where we ended up parking and then we walked walked across the tracks and then came over to this event we should have have can you give me a picture in the executive chair Now we're off the train, there goes it departing the yard, and now they're just going to give them a tour around the yard. And really, there was a lot of things to do. 1827 is the B&O, but they just had it as um, the Y3C. In the train in the background, that is 215 departing the yard or doing some work around the yard unless that's 210 but I think this one that has the Jeebo leading that's moving this one is probably 215 and honestly 215 would not have anything special but still we would capture that train until we would leave the event which is another 30 and 40 minutes. We would ride some roller coasters and ride them beyond rides and other stuff. Which otherwise would be really fun. I wish I had a drone with me, but I did not. I wish I had the camera with me, but it also did not. Wanted to take pictures if I could, but I did not. The only thing I had with me was my phone. And all these videos at an event was taken from my phone so and anyway it, it's really good quality but I just wish I just I took pictures with the camera otherwise I would have had a thumbnail but the thumbnail is the shot of the camcorder of 1982 and the phone shot of this train departing
now we're here at Fostoria. We ended up having so much fun that we lost track of heading down to Fostoria, Ohio. Now we're at Fostoria. I guess now we'll be catching a Harris locomotive, which would be, I would not say it, but it is leading on I-137. So, this coal train has a Y-3B. As you can see, it has a clear signal. I didn't knock it, get it, knock it down for some reason. This was quite long of a coal train. I don't know where this one's going towards, but I'm guessing it's going towards West Virginia or Wasso Kentucky. Now we're at Poplar Street after like waiting for some 50 something minutes. We would get the word that this I-137 would be at Attica Junction, which is another 20 minutes. And around that 20 minutes, he would actually made it some time. Let's see the locomotives. Okay, if you have seen the locomotive, that is the only reason why I went down to Fall Story. I was hearing some info last night that 1982 would be leading on I-137. And that got me to thinking, why not head down to Fall Story for the day? Well, not really for the whole day. For like three hours or something. This one was really good to see. CSXT 1982, the Seaborne Heritage locomotive that would be leading this I-137. So that's the reason why I head down to Fall Story. That make me four, fourth of the six Heritage locomotives so far. I still need to see LNN and the Chesapeake and Ohio one. I still need to see those two, but they're down south as of now. And at this point, they're making 25 heritage locomotives. I'm not going to get to that. I will be saying that to a separate video or short whatever. But I will say this. Me and a couple buddies of mine, Sam, where we were hanging out with at the event, and the two buddies were... Wyan and Demon. They're from the Northern Michigan part, but went and Wayne, whatever. Anyhow, they went all the way down to the event and then went to Moscow. They said this trip was unexpected to be in because they weren't expecting being in Moscow today. So. They will be at the Fossilia Well Fest, which 
will be up soon. There's my buddy Sam waving. And yeah, let's just get the west of I-137. He is heading towards Bedford Park in the north. Well, this is probably our first normal freight train. This one's probably CSXT M370, which is heading towards Columbus. And after I got the three locomotives flew by the camera, I decided to get the drone up because we would have another westbound. Typically, I didn't want it to get blocked out because I didn't want it to get to the other side. So that's the only reason why I stayed on this side. That's the reason why I stayed over there. But you will see in a few minutes, I will get the drone up and get the westbound. So let's just get the westbound on my drone. Okay, why did he not get a point show to me? Well, I was on the other side, dummy. That's the reason why I didn't even go on the other side. I got the phone. Yeah, I got blocked out for nothing special. And it was a good idea. But I was being really good with the drone, so I got some really good footage. In a few seconds, you will see the drone footage that I got really close on the top of the train. Well, here it is now. The two westbound, but they're both manifest. 
with what I got. And I did say I did pretty good because I was watching it the whole time. And I got a pretty good distance. So that's the only reason why I did. So I was watching it the whole time. There was a little glitches in the, in the middle of the, the video, but I still gonna post that. Whatever. Let's just get the, these two less sounds. should have a signal now. Well, this is probably CSX M200 from Chicago to Walbridge. But this is my first time seeing a CM44AC 75 series. But this one is in Wine 3 c livery tank. So, it was kind of cool to see the 75 series, which is getting pretty boring at this time. And, you can see the trailing third unit is 8095, the SD40-2. That was kind of a surprise. To get some drone footage, but I'm not going to put that in the video. Sight, I will be putting that on this video. But, I launched it up on a top of a car. That was the worst mistake I ever did. 
I should never do that again. But life, life and learn, whatever. But this is our last train for the day. I will be going back home after this one because it kind of died down and here and there. We did add a green signal, but I we didn't stay for that. Unfortunately, would have been like a Chiba or something, but oh well, whatever. To get the west of this 200. Open 
Well, this was a pretty good time here at the Fostoria. This was the last time, but the Wellfest video should be out in a less than a week. That until I get this edited in the Fostoria video as well. It was a pretty good time being with my buddy Sam. Being at the event, Wallbridge of course, and catching the Seaboard Heritage and the SD40-2. I will be, thank you for watching this video at Fostoria in Wallbridge, Ohio, and I will be seeing you in the Michigan State or the Buckeye State Wells. Thank you for watching. Signing off.